Woody Womack here with Dallas Turner, one of the top defensive players in the class. On behalf of Old Spice, tell us about the relationship with Old Spice and what you're doing this week. You know, I'm super excited for the NFL draft, you know, and uh, time to take this next step in my life and my football career. You know, it's all about change for me, you know, a new city, a new team, new routines, a new home, uh, you know. But I know PNG has the essential, you know, I need to be ready for anything. So, you know, you know, with the new uh, – Old Spice total body deodorant, you know, from spray it from head to toe, you know, and be fresh anywhere, you know, to make sure that you're fresh 24-7, you know, and uh, really just real convenient, too, you know, just, just to have keep in your pocket and stuff like that. So, you know, yeah. Now we know Florida boys, you're going to be – what's what's this, what's the fit going to be like for the draft tomorrow? Ain't going to be too crazy. Just a little, a little green suit, you know, regular shoes, uh, black tie, a little, might be a little ice. Might be funny, but, yeah, that's it. Um, we know that this draft, it seems like every mock draft, there's no defensive players in the top 10. What's going on? Can you tell us about why you feel like some of you guys are being overlooked and why you think people are going to be regretting that uh, a few years down the line? I mean, you know, uh, I feel like the game is just evolving. You know, you used to see running backs get picked up in the first round. Now you don't even see no running backs get picked up in the first round like that anymore. But, uh, you know, safety's going to top 10 and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's just I feel like it's just the game. You know, you, a lot of teams are going to pick what they need. And what they value the most, in my report, in my opinion, you know, like the most expensive positions. But uh, you know, just it's just the game just evolving in the way it should. But you know, the game changes every day. You know, just like college football, from you know, from being the old traditional to NIL and stuff like that. And you know, people not even loving the game no more. You going to school for some money. But uh, you know, it's probably it's, it's just that. You know, you just got to adjust to it. So, uh, tell us about the draft process. Harder going through the draft process or the recruiting process? To the draft process for sure. Like. A recruiting process is is uh is just is just a step to the top of the stairs, but uh, the draft is you almost at the top of the stairs, but <laughs> for sure. But uh, now it's definitely harder from how serious it is to um, you know the marketing and stuff to doing all. It's it's a lot more extracurricular things outside of football for the pre-draft stuff, and you know and just going from a college level to a professional level rather than from a high school to a college level. You know, uh, you are, you're already supposed to be developed. And so, you know, now you're just really just being thrown into the fire for real. But, you know, in high school, you know, you go into a place to develop and stuff like that. So, but that's probably the, the difference, though. The, the hardest or, like, the weirdest question you got asked by one of these teams when you came in for a visit? I didn't get too many strange questions for real because um, probably – one of the strangest questions was probably, um, I think someone asked, like, what toppings do I like on my pizza or something like that? And I never got a pizza. <laughs> so so that, was, that, was, that was probably one of the craziest things. Wait, you never had pizza? No, I'm saying, like, I never like, I never received a pizza. I'm, thought, I'm thinking, like, they're asking to, oh, okay. like, you know, for, uh, I'm about to order you pizza tonight. So oh, okay. man, oh, I, I, I see ain't, Yeah, I ain't never get a pizza. So I was like, they just want to just know, like, my favorite topping. So what's the toppings? Just pepperoni. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, ain't, I ain't too crazy. Just pepperoni and cheese. Yeah. That's right. That's all you need if you, if you know how you know you're doing. Yeah. Um, player you're most uh, forward looking to go against, whether that's a, a tackle, whether that's a, a quarterback you're looking forward to sacking, who you looking to get after in the NFL? I can't wait to play against Pat Mahomes. I ain't going to lie. And Pat Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. God, I know. Ooh, it's, it's, it's exciting, but I know it's going to be hard. That's why it's exciting. But uh, – yeah, I probably don't to do it, but, like, you know, they got great tackles blocking, but, you know, really just any tackle every week, you know, it's a, of course it's a different level athletically, um, you know, and physically and mentally too. But, you know, it's just I'm just ready for it all, you know. I ain't even putting no shoulder pads and helmet on yet for a team. So, you know, I'm just – I'm ready to do whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. How about a walkout song? When your name gets called, what song would you like to play if, uh, if they could play a song when you walk out onto the stage? Uh, Vultures Cry 2 by Kodak Black. Okay. Uh, South Florida choice. Yeah, yeah, the South Florida choice. You know, there's a – Either either Halloween Kill Bill by Kodak Black too. It's just, it's just songs that like you know I listened to in high school. You know like, like yeah you going know, just little motivation songs to get to this point. And now I'm at this point. So yeah. Last question: Doing something for Mother's Day. If you could uh, look into the camera, give send your mom a little thank you message uh, for for helping you through the process and of course all throughout your life. Hello, mother. I love you very much, and I want to thank you. And I just want to say I appreciate you a lot. You know for helping me get to this point, and you know just making me into the man I am today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for having me.